All right, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. I had to do this straight on the phone, you know, just because I want to keep you guys updated, man, on everything that's going on. And like every day, I want to give you new content, right? So, yeah, I was talking to somebody, you know, on my Instagram, and basically, I was just giving him some pointers on, on you know, how long does it take to actually become a developer? Like, this is actually just a numbers game, people. Like, this is not something that you're gonna, you know, you're gonna be able to do this in one hour, two hours a day. It doesn't work like that, guys. You know, it's like, even if you went to a boot camp, a boot camp is, those guys, they're doing nine to 10 hours, right? Which, basically, you could do that on yourself in your house. You know what I mean? Like, instead of you paying for a boot camp, but, like I said, it's just a numbers game. You know, if you put in two, three hours a day, that's not gonna really do much. You gotta put in, you know, for one month. Do one month, do that challenge. If you if you could actually stay home or you know you're just a college student or you're like in high school or whatever, try to do eight hours in one day. You know, eight hours a day, that's like 40 hours a week. Do that shit for a month. You know what I mean? Do that shit for a month and you're gonna see, you're gonna get everything right away. In that one month, you're gonna be more advanced than a lot of people. Because most people just they just do this like once in a blue moon. Like they think they're gonna become web developers. Like, come on guys, like you gotta understand this is a numbers game. If you don't put in those hours, you're not gonna be able to be ready as soon as you want. You know, it, it takes time. You know, it's like before I got a job, it took me about like, you know, I was ready probably at the three, four months mark. But I, I didn't even go to, you know, start applying for jobs until, like, I think, like, a year. More because I was insecure at the moment. I was like, you know what, man? I'm not ready. I don't know the terminologies. Like, I know how to build websites, but I don't know what the hell they're going to ask me. I thought that they was going to be asking me a whole bunch of algorithms and a whole bunch of shit, which I didn't have no background in computer science. I was like, man, I'm coming from a design degree. How the hell am I going to be able to you know, pass a test, because you think, oh, they doing this at Google, they doing this at whatever, Facebook, they make you write a whole bunch of algorithms, but listen, 99% of these jobs out here, they don't ask you for no fucking algorithms, they're like, hey, can you build a website, can you deal with databases, can you deal with JavaScript, that's what they care about, they're not looking for like, hey, can this person do algorithms, like, nobody cares about that shit, trust me, guys. Like, for a junior developer, nobody's going to be asking you that. Now, it's different if you're going for a software uh, developer, software engineer. That's different. They looking for more than just somebody who makes websites, you know. For, but for web development, it's different. And once you see that on the job title, web developer, they looking for somebody that knows the web. HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And some MySQL and probably PHP. That's all they care about, man. You know what I mean? So for you guys, all you have to do is just put in that work, man. Don't slack. Don't just be like, hey, I'm going to do one hour today and an hour tomorrow. And the weekend, I'm going to do three hours. Nah, man. Do eight hours. Do six to eight hours a day, right? So if you come from work or from wherever you come from at five o'clock, right? You got five Let's say 5 to 11. 5 to 11 every day for a month. You know, every single day. Maybe take off on the weekends. But do Monday to Friday, 5 o'clock to 11 o'clock at night of just web development. And not just doing little bullshit to-do apps or doing bullshit tutorials on YouTube. Build full websites. Meaning, find a design online copy that, make it into HTML, CSS, and then from there make some interaction with JavaScript, jQuery, whatever you want to use, React, Angular, uh, Vue.js, whatever you decide to, to use. But you have to put in that work, guys. Don't think this shit is going to come in easy. It's not going to be easy. Like, you know, you might see me getting, you know, getting money. You might see the next person getting money. You might see those developers that's making a hundred thousand dollars plus. Those guys, they've been doing this for like almost ten years. And there's people out there who are developers 
that they don't even touch seventy thousand dollars. Like they've never they've been working for ten years in the industry and they don't even know what seventy thousand dollars tastes like. They don't even know what that tastes like. You know what I mean? And that's because number one, it could be the city that they work in. Number two, it could be the type of work that they put in. There's people that are like let's say an example right now, if I'm a developer and somehow I got a, a job after college and I stayed in this company and all they work on is Pearl, something like Pearl and MySQL. So I never kept up with what's happening in JavaScript. I never kept up with you know the new frameworks of PHP or Node.js or whatever frameworks out there. And I stood in that company for 10 years and I'm still earning fifty, sixty thousand dollars then that's your fault because you didn't put in that work. You didn't put in those hours. All you did was like, you was complacent. You was like, hey, I got a job and I'm not gonna put in no work after work. Yeah, I'm not gonna put in no, no extra hours after work. A lot of people do that. You know, me, like right now, I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna spend an hour on Goland and that's because I already put in, you know, five, six hours every single day working on stuff. Plus I work in the industry already. So you can't compare yourself to me because I, I work in the industry and I've been doing this already for five years. It's gonna be five years now in, in July. So, you know, you can't compare yourself to me because I've been doing this for mad long. So it's like I already did the four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hours a day type type of days. You know what I mean? Like I did those already. So now I already got all the basic concepts of of programming and, and web development and I could learn any language that I want. And all I have to do is just put in an hour or two in it and then I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna learn it. But for you guys that just started, come on guys, get up there, man. Put in that work and stop playing with yourself. And understand that, you know, if you if you wanna take this thing serious, man, like you know, I already told you, you I already told you guys. I already told you exactly what you gotta learn, man. I told you what courses really work because you gotta think about it like this, man. I already went through it and I'm teaching you guys what to do and where to get the, the resources. You know, the resources that really work is gonna give you the skills that you need, you know? So it's like, they're right there in the description. They're the courses that help me just freaking take it, man. It's freaking ten dollars. Stop playing yourself, man. With right thing right now, they're like ten dollars each. You could buy all five uh, of the five courses for fifty bucks, man, and just fucking keep it moving, man. Just keep it moving. Just take your courses, learn PHP. I would say learn PHP first before you even try to learn anything else. Learn the PHP in my sequel because. Listen, when I went to uh, a job interview, there was so much shit that I did not know, man. There was so much things that I did not know about databases and, and the back end. And it's like, if you don't know the back end, like, how the hell are you going to do a post request? How, how the hell are you going to do Ajax? Like, it doesn't make sense. You know what I mean? Plus, they're going to ask you questions that if you know the back end first, you're going to be ready. You know, like most companies, they need more back end guys than front end guys. Think about it like that. There's a whole bunch of designers who, you know, over a weekend decided to start learning HTML and CSS, and now they're calling themselves front end developers. They come in with a nice design, and pretty much they what they do is they learn inside of the job because that's what everybody does. They learn inside of the job. You know, they act like, oh, I know everything. I know this, this, and this. But then, in reality, they learn it while they're at the job. But for you guys, if you guys want to be more prepared than those guys, hey, know the back end, man. All right? So, you already know. It's your boy Joe back at it again, man. CodingFace.com. I'm out here. I had to do this through the phone. I didn't have my camera. I didn't have my, my professional shit. But, um, yeah, man. Like, this is how I do it. It's your boy Joe back at it again. Bow.